Hey everybody, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. I know it's been several months since I've done a video. Um, obviously, I'm getting older. And, you know, there's just things when you get older, older that happen in life. Now, talking about wrestling. I do not watch wrestling throughout the week no more. I have been burnt out from watching it, but I do read up on it. And quite honestly, WWE Raw is the best show in the world. They do have some flaws, and I understand that. I don't like some of the things they do, but... In reality, they still are the best show in the world. Um, NXT has improved a great deal. Uh, they have taken over ratings from AEW's Dynamite. And kudos to NXT. Now, getting on to AEW Dynamite. AEW in general, they got some mega stars there. Why don't you use them the way they should be used? I mean, come on, Tony Khan does not how does not know how to book matches or anybody else in that company. Because, like, if he watches WWE, they make matches, you know, as they go along, and there's a purpose for them. AEW just puts together matches like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I think, honestly, they're ruining... Will Ospreay, who is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. Um, I've always liked Hangman Page. He has dropped down to really nothing. And now he joins the elite with the loser Young Bucks and Okada, whom I think Okada never, ever, when he came to AEW, should have joined the elite and AEW will never do anything better until they start separating stars on Dynamite and then on uh, Collision and make matches worth to the point where the purpose is there. And, I mean, th that's my opinion, but they'll never go nowhere. They really won't go nowhere. And when they first came in as a promotion, they did well. Um, that's when you had Cody, Omega, the Bucks... Hangman coming in, and I think without Kenny Omega, uh, Dynamite, and AEW hurts. Well, let's face it, he's had a lot of internal injuries. I don't see Omega ever doing full time wrestling again, and if he does, I'll be happy for him, but I just don't see it in my opinion. Moving on to TNA, what can I say? Close down, baby. You know, I, I just don't get your logic, and it's just sort of ridiculous, but Again, that's just my opinion. 
In Ring of Honor, to me, you're irrelevant. You really are. Tony Khan owns you. He does put people from AEW on there. I could care less. I don't watch these shows during the week no more. I look forward to the pay-per-views and mainly WWE because their pay-per-views aren't that long. And like AEW's Wembley show, it's going to be four to five hours. I'm not watching it. There's absolutely no way. I have no interest. You'll have like 15, 16 matches. Half of them, I don't want to see. And let's face it, guys. Mercedes Monet books her own matches. She chooses when to win and when to lose. And when she does get beat, when her contract's up, She's out of there. Let's face it. They have made Britt Baker into a nobody who was one of the biggest women in AEW when they first started. So, anyhow, I wanted to speak my piece. Maybe a lot of people don't like it, but that is exactly how I feel. Feel. Peace out, everybody. The Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. There will be another video coming up in a few days on the Iceman V2013. As you can tell, my voice is a little hoarse. I got allergies. And we'll talk to you all later. Peace out.